Hello, everyone, again, and welcome. Um, uh, floor Trader, you typed yes, PJ. I, I, I don't understand. Maybe you're responding to a private message. You need to respond directly to a private message uh, because everyone can see what you typed, uh, your response to uh, PJ. But in any case, we're here today with Melissa Armo from thestockswish.com. We are about to begin. We do want to thank each and every one of you for your time and your participation here today. This is Online Trader Central. I want to welcome the, uh, the new folks who've just joined us, see Victor, Scott, and others. This is Online Trader Central. Let me see if I can round up the uh, percussion section, uh, musicians, and, uh, and all of that, and so we can get started here very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, the sound of the trumpets means it is time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome the CEO and head trader from the, the stockswish.com. Please welcome. Thank you, Kevin and Kathy. Thank you, everyone at onlinetradercentral.com, and welcome. My name is Melissa Armel, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to talk to you actually about the strategy that I personally trade. As Kevin said, I trade, I'm the head trader, I'm the uh, owner of my own company, and I also run a live trading room every day where I trade my strategy in the market. I'm actually a day trader. And I'm gonna talk about the strategy that I trade every day. It's a simple 26 point strategy that I use to make money trading. And it's actually something that I personally created. If you're interested in more information, you can email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. And you can go follow me on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter. If you go to my YouTube site and subscribe to that, you will get any videos or webinar replays or market reviews that I do there as well. So what we're going to talk about today really is this idea of not just having a strategy, but also the idea of having something to focus on to make money consistently in the market that is simple. Okay. So how does simplicity really help you in reference to trading? Well, Trading can be very overwhelming for many people in the market. And when I started out seven years ago, it was overwhelming for me because there were so many things that I saw every day, so many stocks to trade and so many different things that I could do. I was never focused enough on what I was supposed to do every day. And that's how then I end up coming to the conclusion that I needed to create my own system. Because there are a lot of stocks to look at each day. So I'm talking about the US stock market, the equity market right now. How do you know what to train or not only that, what direction to trade it and when? Well, you, you have to know because it's too late if the stock already makes the move and then you see it after the fact. The way to make money is to know what somebody's gonna do ahead of time and to in fact actually predict it. The idea of having one simple strategy to follow each day is the structure that is really very necessary in order to make it. And it's one of those things that unfortunately the many traders lack. And again, when I started out, I lacked this too. So I kind of figured out very quickly that I needed to have a focus and really that only one trade is all I needed on any given day to, in order to make money because it was about finding the quality, not really the quantity. So here I'm just showing you an example of how simplicity helps you one focus. If, if you know what you're looking for and you go into the day and you have it set before the open, the market opens at 9.30 Eastern time, and you know that you're gonna short ABC stock, whatever it is on the day, you'll get in the stock and you will take the trade and you will follow it through to its logical conclusion. Now, what if for some reason it doesn't work and, and it fails as a short, ends up being a long, then you just stop and then you have one loss. So it's, it's simple. What many p traders do though is keep fighting with stocks, meaning keep going after it in the original direction even if it doesn't work right as a short, they'll keep shorting it, shorting it, shorting it, not understanding that it's not a short, then that it's really a long, or vice versa, okay? So the way simplicity helps you is to have the focus, which does two things. One, it helps you make money with ease and not being stressed, knowing what to do. And two, if for some reason the trade doesn't work, which sometimes there are trades that don't work, and in any system that's the case. It shouldn't be that often. 
It should be really only like twice a month of that. But either way, you only lose one, one trade. So again, the idea of simplicity, because many traders, if they take a trade, want to keep trading after they're up money. All you need is one though in the day to be profitable. And we're going to go over this here in some of the examples today. And again, if one doesn't work, then you're down one risk unit and that's it. And then if you have five trading days in the week, and let's say four you make money and one you lose, you're up and you're profitable, okay? So having common sense actually helps you make money consistently. It's the idea of looking for quality. So it's common sense, looking for quality, having the focus, not over trading, and having a system to follow so that you know what to do and it's planned out ahead of time. It's really about just common sense. Don't overtrade. Know what you're supposed to be doing, going long or short the stock ahead of time. Fancy really is not better in reference to trading. It's like if you had a job where you worked in a very professional environment, say a high-end law firm, and uh, you know you had a very high-level job, it's really, you, you know, you could be under a lot of pressure. You have to do well. It's about the focus. Okay, you have to be very smart, you have to be intellectual, bright, there's a lot of competition. It's, it's not always the right decision to do too much, to get too fancy. My charts are very clean. You'll see this when we go over the examples today. I don't have any specific indicators that I use, that I rely on. I have a very few things on my charts. I don't use Fibonacci's, I don't use any kind of crazy lines or graphs or things. I use simple period moving averages and that's it. And I could forgo those too, okay? because it has nothing to do with my system. So this idea of complexity really doesn't necessarily work right in reference to trading. It's about common sense and focus and keeping it simple. So as I was saying, what is your plan of action? If you really want to do this and make money, which should be your objective, and if you're not focused on making money, then you will most likely not be profitable, okay? I think a lot of people don't necessarily take trading seriously enough I was very serious about trading when I started. I really wanted to do it for a career, not for side money. I wanted to quit my mortgage job when I started it, and I really was serious about money, okay? You've got to be serious about what you're doing. You have to have a plan of action before you take risk in the market. That means even risk like tomorrow morning, like immediately, not even for the bigger picture, but like even tomorrow. For the short term and the long term, you need a plan of action, and it really comes down to needing and having a system, okay? And if you have any questions, you can write it in the room here. I'll see as we go along. So what is the Golden Gap system? This is the system that I created, that I created myself to trade the market. It is a very simple system that pinpoints you the right direction to trade the stock every day. And you're looking for it. And if you find it, you trade. And if one day you get up, for some reason it's not there, it's a holiday weekend, July 4th or something, then you take the day off, you don't trade. This is a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system. So I like to focus on the shorts and we're gonna mostly talk about that today, although you can flip the points and use the system to go long. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning. So what is a gap? For those of you that don't know what a gap is, I'm gonna show you here in a chart in a minute, but a stock gap, so the opening price today, so today the market's closed, it's, it's 4.48, so whatever, the opening price is tomorrow morning, for example, on Tuesday at 9.30. Whatever that opening price is, is, has to be different from the closing price of today at 4 o'clock when the market closed. That's what is a gap. Gaps can happen up or down. A gap is a price break, okay? It is a break that happens in price action from one day to the next, from Monday, for example, to Tuesday, or Tuesday to Wednesday, okay? Now, let's show you an example. This is a chart of CVA. This was last week. The stock closed here around $20 and 40 some cents at four o'clock. And then the next morning when you got up, the stock was not at that price. It was at a different price. It was down here at around $19 and 70 some cents, whatever, okay? So the stock gap. You would see this gap in the morning on a scanner to find it before this whole thing happens. And you would use my 26 point rating system to rate the gap in the morning at 8 a.m. or 8.30 or 9 a.m., anytime before 9.30, before the market opens, and then determine if you wanna buy the stock or short it. 
and then when the open happens, you take the trade. Now, in this case here of CVA, it was a short. So my method looks at 26 points. You don't have to actually have all 26 points to be able to trade it. You've got to have 20. So in other words, you're looking for not perfection as far as getting every single solitary port uh, point. You are looking for 20 of the 26, okay? And again, you follow the system. You just go through the checklist. So why should you learn in my system, which is called the Golden Gap System? Because there are so many stocks each day that gap. So not only are there a lot of stocks actually in the US market on every given day, there's a lot that gap, that change price from one day to the next. So using a system is very significant to your success. And having a detailed way to find which stock to train will make it easier for you to achieve success. And anything that you can do to help you achieve success and make it easier for your success, you want to do. And this is just common sense too. And it doesn't matter if it's trading or if it's some business that you have, uh, anything that you do in life that you want to be successful. You want to try to make it as easy for yourself as possible. It's not to say that you don't have to do hard work. Of course you have to do the hard work that's necessary. But if you can make your path a little bit easier by taking a class or having a mentor from someone like me, instead of just trying to throw yourself into the market losing money to figure it out or wasting months or weeks or years of your life, you want to do it. You want to be focused on this thing and have a goal. Like you are going to start making money trading by such and such a time frame, and this is how you're going to do it. When I look back at the things that I did seven years ago, if I had to do it all over, I, I don't want to say I made mistakes. I did make mistakes. You know, I'm happy that I figured out how to trade and I'm glad that I'm at where I am at today. But if I had it all to do over again, I would say that when I started out, I did not really have a good plan of action. I just wanted to trade and make money. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't have a plan of action to, to do it. And I didn't even give myself an amount of money that I was willing to risk you know, to do it. And I didn't give myself a time frame. And these are parameters really that people need to give themselves. Again, that's part of the plan of action. The idea that many, which, which is really where many people are at, because I talked to a lot of people, they, they just throw themselves into it and they have, they have no deadline. They're just like, well, I'm just gonna go to webinar after webinar or paper trade or just try to figure out myself and all of a sudden five, six, seven years have gone by and they've lost tons of money in the market. You really have to have a plan what you're gonna do and then a, a time frame to achieve that plan. Otherwise, you don't really have a set firm enough goal and then you will just be kind of hanging out in no man's land while you're trying to figure it out and wavering back and forth, back and forth with different systems and even di different methodologies and not really ever putting your foot down and planting yourself firmly into doing something, having conviction in something and believing in something. And we're gonna talk about that in a little bit too. So here is another gap, okay? I just wanna show you an example. This was QCOM. Again, a stock gaps when it closes at a certain price and opens at a different price. So here you have coupon, it closed up here around $64 in some sense, and gapped down here to around $62.50, okay? So the stock gapped down when? From four o'clock to 9.30. You get up in the morning and you would find this coupon gap and then you would rate it for the 26 point system to determine if you should buy this or short it, okay? And again, this is a short. I prefer to short, many people ask me this, but I prefer to short because actually uh, downside momentum in stocks comes in really fast and much faster than upside momentum. It's not to say that you can't make money going long. Of course you can make money going long as much as you can going short. But I like to trade as a day trader very quickly. And usually the moves that happen in stocks happen in the morning fast to the downside, faster than getting in longs, okay? So the system is really designed for one purpose, to find a stock that will have a high odds of working in the correct direction of bias on the day and with a strong momentum move. And as you saw in that QCOM, that had a nice big drop and move, and so did the CVA. The strong momentum move is the way to make money trading effortlessly because if the stock's just dropping and you're in it short, you don't have to do anything but just hang on and have your target and look to get out when it gets to the target. When you are waiting, and I call it sweating a bullet, when you're waiting for something and like you get in it and you're down before it goes or you're waiting and it hasn't gone and you're or you're actually down money in the trade waiting for it to go before it even goes that's what i call sweating a bullet and i don't i don't trade like that 
I'm looking for the momentum to come in in the gap quickly in the a.m. period in the morning and that's how you make money effortlessly okay so let's talk about the 26 points the point rating system works because it is such a detailed analysis of the price action and that's really the crux of my system I'm analyzing the price in the 26 points to determine whether something is going to get bought or sold off it also works because everything that is being looked at in each point uses the daily chart of the stock and that is the weightiest chart um, in in any stock okay the daily chart of a stock is the most powerful and real indication of what the trend is in a stock for any trader of any kind now again I'm looking at what it's going to do in the day because in the long term I'm not holding trades overnight now you can use my gap system to take overnight some people have taken my class and used it for options but for me I'm in and out I got to be flat by four o'clock so I'm really only looking for what the trend of the stock is doing on that particular day I've got to get in if I'm shorting something it's got to sell off that day and I got to be able to take the profit and get out before four all right so the 26 points pinpoints what it's going to do on the day you must get the direction right on the daily chart if you want to make money trading again if QCOM's falling off the planet and dropping and selling off all day you're not going to make money going long the stock okay as a day trader so this is a very simple and definable method because you're going to use the rating system and then you just take it and you tally up the points 20 or more and if you meet the criteria you do it and that's it you don't have to find anything else but one thing you only need to do QCOM if that's the one that rates well you don't have to look for 17 other trades and if for some reason QCOM wouldn't work which actually it did you would just stop with one loss when I trade I use stops I use hard stops or limit orders so that my risk is defined and we'll talk about that too that's a very important part of having a plan of action as well because you should know how much you're willing to risk in a trade so that you don't lose more than you want to risk if for, if for some reason the trade wouldn't work and you also need to have a goal what you want to make so that when you're up that amount of money you take it off if it reverses against you so a system should be easy to follow and not only that easy to comprehend and I do a good job of going through and explaining everything in my class the class that I teach it's a two-day course I go through all of my points I go through the charts I explain it in great detail I'm constantly teaching in the live trading room when I'm trading and I call my trades live in the room and people take them with me I have a lot of people that ask me about joining my live trading room because I trade every day you cannot join the room unless you've taken the class and the reason is again people need to be serious about their trading the money that they're risking in the market I think it's extremely important for people to be responsible with their choices in order uh, to take risk in the market and so I encourage people and enforce that discipline on people by making them take the class in order to trade with me and that's really how I've developed actually successful traders I have many traders with me really the whole room is making money this year so it's one of these things where you really have to decide how serious you want to be about it it's not something that has to take you weeks and days and months and years to learn how to do but you do have to devote the time to taking the class and learning the 26 points and then being in the room and training every day now I don't run the room all day some trading rooms are open at four o'clock I have the room open from 8 30 to 11 and I usually only trade between 9 30 and 10 10 15 so I'm not even trading for the whole two and a half hours I have the room open I'm really only trading for about 30 minutes 15 minutes 5 10 minutes some days and then I teach and talk the rest of the time so again I'm very very focused on what I do I have a plan of action not just for my trading but for how I run my trading room focused on making money and that's it now let's talk about some trades that happened here in the last week okay all of these were golden gaps and I'm focusing on the shorts because I teach the class on the shorts again you could flip the points for bullish if you want to go long a lot of people ask me about that in reference to the types of accounts that they have but if you are interested in having a, a proprietary day trading account you can email me about that um, after the webinar and Kathy can put my email in the in the room there so let's look at LXK LXK closed the night before up here up here around 47 something and gap down here to $42 so gap down roughly $5 okay so you get up in the morning and you would rate this gap you would rate it to determine if it was a long or a short in the case of this it was a short this actually had a huge move in the day okay if you took this trade it, it went to the dream target it also continued and we'll go over this later in a minute but this 
was a stock that you would have had to watch and be very particular because in the morning initially it didn't have the full volume in it to take the trade. Then the volume came into the stock, still in the opening period, and here's where the trade set up in here, approximately 943, 944, okay? This is a one minute chart. This is a daily chart, okay? So you could have shorted LXK, why? Because it was a golden gap and rated 20 points or more per my 26 point rating system as a short. So you're looking to short this. You look for the entry. I teach six entries in my class. So you can short it and you could have taken it and gotten out of it, whatever. I mean, this ring really got pummeled on the day that it, that it fell. But if you took the trade and actually got out at what the first target was, the first target was $39 this was still a two and a half dollar move from the entry. Now, I'm showing you a beginner risk because I wanted people to see that you don't, you didn't even need to risk a lot of money to make money in this trade. So if you risked a hundred dollars in this LXK entry and gap, you would have made $2,500. That's phenomenal because the stock went, you know, two and a half, a uh, dollar and a half, okay? Or, or two and a half dollars. Now, where am I getting this 1,000 shares and the $100 risk? Because when you take a position in a stock, again, I'm on the one-minute chart, you short it. And as I said earlier, I have a stop. So I size myself according to the stop. So you put the stop in. So if you want to risk 100 bucks, you could have taken 1,000 shares of this. And if you had and gotten out at 39, and I just want to point out here, here's 39. Here, this is a target, so that's where you would have gotten out, and plus you're up $2,500. But I just want to show you, if you stayed in it and carried it on down, the stock ended up going all the most to 36. So you actually could have made another $3,000. You could have risked $100 on this trade. And if you had the guts, which I don't know if you would have, to stay in it to the dream target, you actually could have made $5,500 risking 100 bucks on this trade of the day. The stock got pummeled. It was a good gap. The entry was precise, okay? And that's what you could have gotten out of it. Now, let's just say you wanted to do this for a swing trade. The stock actually dropped in five days. It dropped $10. This is, this is not that abnormal. Lots of times gaps have uh, continuation moves. From the day of the gap, this is the first day of the gap. This is one, two, three, four, five. The low today was 32 something and then it bounced. But the stock actually, if you'd shorted this as a swing trade, dropped $10. I mean, that's crazy, but it can happen. So here's a good example where you could have done a swing trade or a long-term trade or even an option in LXK. Again, I like to day trade. I'm in and out flat before four o'clock, but this is a great other way that you can use my system to do options and swing trades and overnights. Because if you don't have the time to day trade every day, you could still look for the gap, find the gap, get in the trade, and then you don't have to monitor it, you know, every minute like I do. Okay, beautiful move. Okay, now, oops, hold on. I wanted to go over the advanced risk in this. I showed you the beginner risk in this. If you just took a thousand shares, if you took an advanced risk, what would be an advanced risk? A thousand bucks. Okay, if you risk a thousand dollars, if you could afford to and took 5,000 shares of LXK short and did the exact same trade as a beginner person, the new trader, you could have made again two and a half bucks. But if you had 5,000 shares, you would have made $12,500 in one trade. That's not even holding the stock down to 36 something, which if you had done that, you would have made another $3, which would have been another 15 grand. If you had traded the stock right and I didn't, you know, hold this anywhere near or go anywhere near $36. I mean, but I'm just telling you, if you had, there's times where I will hold somebody to a dream target, but I don't do that every trade either. Mostly because I have my goal in for the day when I'm trading and I like to stop early. But if you had traded this correctly, and this is the power of really my system and pinpointing something. If you had wanted to hold this through into the late morning period, early afternoon, and you risked $1,000, which my R is more than that, you actually could have made in this stock, you know, almost 30 grand. You would have had to risk a thousand bucks. You wouldn't have had to take any other trades this week, okay? It's a gutsy thing to do though, to hold this to such a bigger number, but you're up a lot anyways. 
this again is what I'm talking about in reference to the simplicity of just finding the right thing and then letting it fall into its normal momentum. But if you don't know to look for this, you won't do it. If you don't know to how to find this, that, that this is something that you would even want to do or in what direction to do it, you'll never get this straight. You'll never be able to risk a hundred bucks and make a thousand or two thousand. You'll never be able to risk a thousand and make, you know, 10,000. You'll never be able to do that. And you certainly won't because you won't know the entries, which again is a big piece of my class because I teach where to get in these stocks, okay? And they all set up differently. Uh, day trading is one of these things where you really have to be very precise. Otherwise, you don't know where to put the stop, you don't know where to get in, and you don't know where to get out, okay? And all of that plays a big factor besides just finding the right stock. Now let's talk about the next one. Verizon did a, very similar to LXK. This was the gap on Verizon. I did this this day, but it actually had a really nice follow through too. So you could have done Verizon and held it through for a few days as well. Again, this doesn't happen with everyone, but in the case of this, it had a small move the day of the gap. And then the momentum came in overnight. So you're watching Verizon, you like it as a short, you rate it per the 26 point rating system and it tells you you can short the stock. You get in the stock short and it goes to the target and you're out. So this move in here is a period of time for just 20 minutes. 20 minutes, you're literally in the stock and out within 20 minutes and your day is done. Your day is done by 10 o'clock Eastern time. How? You find the right stock to trade. You know exactly where to take it. You know where to put the stop. You know how to size yourself. You hit it, you do it, you, you're very exact. Uh, this is the plan of action. The plan of action is I like Verizon. I have conviction. I wanna do it. I'm in the trade. I get in, I short it, I'm out. Okay, focus, focus, focus. In the case of Verizon, you would have shorted the stock at 46.95. This is the entry. Risk is 15 cents. If you risk about $1,000 for an R, 900 bucks with 6,000 shares. And you exit, okay? This is one of the targets, 46.60. And you get out. Nice profit here if you have an advanced risk unit. And again, you're looking for the targets in these things. I teach the targets in the class too. This is how you know where or when to get out of the stock. But you've got to know that it's a short and you have to be able to watch it. And how would you do that? Before the open is when you prepare. Again, the plan of action is you prepare before 9.30 Eastern time that you like this stock and this stock and you're watching two or one or three or however many that you, that you rate, that rate per the system that you want to do, okay? Now, a lot of people ask me this, how much money do you need and what does it cost to trade gaps? Well, I'll go over this at the end. My class is $3,500. Is it worth it? Yes. Why? You can make more than that in one trade. And you certainly, even if you don't take an advance risk, can make that in a week trading with me in the room. So it's definitely worth it. And you also learn my system to use for the rest of your life because my system is applicable for something that you can use for your whole life that you trade. Because gaps will always exist in the U.S. stock market because the U.S. stock market will always have a closed time and it will always have an open time as long as the market exists, okay? So that's a good thing and it's a very important thing and it's a huge benefit to people that learn my system. Now, how much money do you really need to train though, okay? Well, there's different types of trading accounts. Sometimes people want to do options because they think that it's cheaper. But really, you have more control when you day trade, when you're in and out, you're controlled with the risk and you also can take the trade off that day and you know what you make. When you do options, you can't always control the timing. Now, I called Amazon to gap up on the earnings last week, which is exactly what it did. And there were some people that did that option trade that I called in the room before it gapped. You just don't know the timing though of things like that. In the case of Amazon, it worked out for the people that did it. but with my system as far as day trading and what I do every day, I have full control. I'm looking to get in and out on the day. So the timing of it doesn't matter to me as long as it happens today. Whether it happens in 15 minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes, I really have to four o'clock, although I'm not usually staying in the trades till then, okay? But there are proprietary day trading accounts that you can trade at where you can open up an account and day trade actively with as little as $2,500. If you go to a retail brokerage house, you need 25,000 to actively day trade. 
the leverage and the buying power that you get at various brokers varies and you have to check with them and find out. But it's not like you have to have a million dollars to trade the market as a day trader or even thousands of dollars, even 25,000, okay? You don't have to go to the big brokerage houses to trade. You can go to a proprietary day trading account and you figure out your risk, okay, per trade based on the size of that account, whatever the amount of money that you have. All right. Any questions from anyone so far? As I'm going along here. All right, let's look at the CVA. This was one we looked at earlier. Again, CVA was a short, okay? How did I know? You rate the gap. You rate the gap per the 26 point rating system to determine it's a short and not a long. And then you look for an entry in the stock. So CVA, and again, this was last week too. Now you're on the one minute chart. The stock opens and you're waiting for the setup. And here it is. You could short the stock and it dropped. It had two drops, one in here and one all the way down here. So again, the stock actually dropped by the time you were in it, actually went to the target within three minutes. You could have held it more. It went to another target down in here. You could have held it a little bit longer, but in three minutes here, it went to the target and you could have been out. So what was the price? 1950 was the short entry. The stock was 15 cents. Again, if you take an advanced risk of 1050, you could have taken 7,000 shares of this. Exit was 19. Again, it went lower. It all went all the way down to 18. The next target was 1875. The low of the day was 1876. How's that for exact? I, I gave the second target was 1875. It went to 1876. That's how, that's how exact I am with knowing what I'm doing with my gaps. Anyways, 19 was the first number. And if you took this trade and got all out, you made 3,500 bucks. Some people don't even make $3,500 in a week, let alone in one trade. And again, you know, this is the cost of the class, which you can make in one trade. Some people don't make $3,500 in a month. Now, I'm, I'm not saying a lot, but there are certain jobs in the United States that don't even pay that much. This is a lot of money to make in a day trade. This is a lot of money to make in two minutes. You took the trade here and you got out in three minutes. You were in, in two minutes you were out. That's phenomenal. I mean, this is phenomenal, people. I don't, I don't, this is the power of the gap. This is the power of momentum and trading. And this, again, is why you have to have a plan of action. You would never, 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 never make $3,500 in two minutes without a plan of action. Sometimes I take a trade. I mean, these are my favorite days in the world. And I will make four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 in literally less than five minutes. Sometimes I'm so excited I scream in the room because I'm so excited to make that kind of money. And I get out and sometimes it goes to a bigger number, but I'm up so much, so fast, so quickly, because I was so precise, had my plan of action, knew the stock to trade, ran in the gap, had the entry right, sized myself correctly, and just hit it right before the momentum came in that I get out. I mean, that is phenomenal. And then I have no more risk. And then no matter what it does, I don't care. I have no more risk and really I don't even have to take another trade for the week, okay? I am extremely good at doing that because I am an expert at gaps, my system, I've been trading it for seven years. This is why I run a successful trading room where people are making money following my calls and teach a successful class. But if you don't have a plan of action to pick the right stock or know the entry to do it, to hit it at that exact moment before the momentum drops into it if you're shorting or comes into it when you're going long, you won't get it. You won't get it. And you'll be looking for crumbs. You'll be looking for crumbs to short in here, or you're trying to flip it to go long because you missed the short. You'll be looking for crumbs. Don't look for crumbs. You're never gonna make a lot of money in the market looking for crumbs. And this is why people also have a problem taking big size because they, they can't risk $1,000 because they're so unsure of themselves. They feel like 50-50. So they take three, four, five trades a day, and instead of risking $1,000 in one trade, they'll still risk $1,000 on the day, but they'll divvy up into four or five trades. What's the difference? Why not take the real full risk and a quality trade that works so you can make a lot of money in one? You know, it's, it's not shooting darts at a board trading. It, it, it is very, very specified. Simple, if you know what to look for. Focused, and it's all about the common sense. You do what you have to do, and that's it, okay? Any questions? We'll look at another one here. This was true. This was Friday. True, again, was a short. 
you get up in the morning and you find the true and you rate the gap. And then you determine if you want a short true or buy true. And if you, or do nothing with true, you can, you can rate a gap and then it doesn't rate well and you don't do anything with it even. Anyways, this was a good gap and it was a short. So here's the short and true. You short it and it drops. And actually I got out of this early because it was a target. It kept going. The dream target on this was $6. It almost got there. It got within 11 cents of the dream target or 13 cents of the dream target. This ended up going way, way more. But if you'd like to take the short and be done early, this was it. Price of the entry was $7.35. Risk is 20 cents. On 5,000 shares, it's 1,000 bucks. Again, your risk unit should be the same or close to the same in all the trades. Again, this is an early exit. The stock went down to like 6.13. So you could have made on this even more. But if you risk $1,000 and got out here, you made about $27.50. And sometimes you can piecemeal out. You can take it half and then let the rest drop on and just keep lowering your stock. Or you can just take it all out and be done when it gets to the first target. A one, again, you know, really nice amount of money to make in one trade. And let's look at the timing of it. You're in and you're out. So you're in and out in less than 15 minutes. That's it. It's not even 10 o'clock and you're done for the day. See that? Okay, let's look at another one. Nice fat monster red bar here in COF. Again, a bearish golden gap. The stock closed the night before up here at $90 and some cents and gap down here to $83.50 approximately. Low in the day and this is, is insane. I mean, this stock here got pummeled in the day. Not quite as much as LXK, but still, okay ran down and dropped more than five dollars so again you rate the gap and this is a short i have a question please explain risk versus total cost of stock don't you have to cover the stock cost you are not purchasing the stock where you actually get stock shares for it you have to be able to cover the cost of the stock not in the amount that you're risking but in the amount of the share size that you're taking let's look at this trade here as an example I'll sh let's wait till i get to this one then we'll figure it out Here's the short in COF, okay? And it drops. So you're in one quick trade in this, again, you're out in five minutes. Now, E stock was asking a question. Let's just say E stock wanted to take this trade. The cost of the short is 83.30. If you took 1,500 shares and put in a hard stop, you're actually risking $1,200 in your account. So in your live account, you have to have at least twelve hundred dollars. You have to have more than that because you, you you know you don't you never risk your whole amount. But you have to be allowed to risk twelve hundred dollars cash. So that's what you're really risking in the COF. Now I think what he's asking is, hey, wait a minute. It's an eighty three dollar and thirty cent cost to take the position with fifteen hundred shares. How much buying power do I need? Buying power and leverage is much much different than the cost of the position, of the risk. This is the risk, that's it. That's all your risk is, 1200 bucks. Do you understand? If you get stopped out of this, you won't lose more. Now you, you might have a little slippage, but you, you really wouldn't, you actually wouldn't with this. It had plenty of volume and this is only 1500 shares. Anyways, getting back to it, that's all you're gonna lose if the trade fails. That's your risk. Do you understand any stock? And anybody else that doesn't get it, that's it, it's defined. I would never take a trade if I don't have a defined risk. That would be insane. And no one would trade in the market if they didn't have defined risk. And people that trade in the market without defined risk lose. That's why there are you know, a lot of people that lose in the market. You must define your risk. And as a day trader, you, you can very easily do that by using stops. When you take things overnight, you don't have stops. But that's why taking overnights is more risky. You really got to know what you're doing. And again, you have to have a system and a plan of action for that too. Okay. Anyways, I think what you were saying is, wait a minute, the price of the stock is $83.30. If you want to take 1,500 shares, you would need in buying power for this, this amount. Oh, I don't know why that does that there. That's how much buying power you would need. You would need approximately $125,000 in buying power. Does that mean you need $125,000 cash? No. Does it mean you're risking $125,000? No. No, it doesn't mean any of that. It means you're risking $1,200 to take the position. It is utilizing the cost price, the cost basis is utilizing from your account 125,000 in buying power. Every broker gives you buying power or leverage. How much? 
Retail places give four to one for day trading and prop places can give up to 100 to one. You gotta decide where you're trading and you do need to know that because you can't take a position unless you can, well, you wouldn't be able to. If you press the button and you have enough buying power, it wouldn't, it wouldn't take the trade for you at the broker. It would be preset in the platform. But there's an example, okay? So let's just say at a prop account. At a prop account, you probably could have taken that trade with 10 grand in it. Maybe even five, a prop account, what it maybe would have let you take it with five, but risking $1,200 with a $5,000 cash account is too much, in my opinion, okay? But let's just say you had 10,000 in a prop account, you would have had enough buying power to do it and take the risk. If you had a retail account, 25,000 only gives you 100 grand in BP, but you shouldn't be up against the amount that you need in the a place. You should really have at least 30,000 with any uh, retail place if you're trading. So that's approximately 120. You would have been able to take a little bit less than 1500 and been covered if you had 30 grand in a retail account, cash, but you're not risking all of that. Does this make sense? You're risking the 1200, but you really could have done it with a prop account with much, 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 much less because they give you more buying power and it's just, it's, I call it leverage, okay? You are getting out of this thing at 8130. That's it. You're done. You're not getting a stock certificate mailed you in the mail. Okay. So the broker allows you to borrow this 1500 shares for a certain time period of the trade. Five minutes, 10 minutes. In the case here, my trades, let me go back, are usually for a few minutes. So you borrowed it from the broker for five minutes and you gave it back. Boop, and that's it. And that's really how you take a short anyways, because you're borrowing the stock when you're shorting. You're borrowing it because you're pre-borrowing it because you're borrowing it because you're betting that the price is going to go down. E-Stock is asking me another question here before I get to the next trade. But you lock out that money until the three days it takes for the transaction to clear? Absolutely not. I have no idea where you're trading. You're not locked out of anything at all. It takes approximately three to five days for your trades to clear but it doesn't lock out your buying power, block out your buying power at all for that amount of time at all. You either need to call your broker or find out, or I have no idea. And it sounds like you're trading at a retail place, but you misunderstand how it works. There's no way that you take that trade today and can't take that trade and use that buying power tomorrow if you're flat, the trade, no way. It takes three to five days for trades to clear, but that has nothing to do with anything that we're even talking about here. And by the way, the broker will, will let you take out the money that you made today and wire it out of your account even though the trade isn't clear. So I don't know where you're trading, but you need to call the broker and have that explained. They will explain that to you. It doesn't lock anything out. As soon as you're out of the trade, the buying power is put back into your account. You have access to take another trade immediately in one hour from now or the next business day. Make sense? Now, if you lose money, it will be taken out of your buying power, but you'll be down the money. So if your buying power is four to one, and I'm just, I'm just saying a number here, okay? And you lose 1,000, you will be, have $4,000 less in buying power the next day if your buying power is four to one, that's all. But you'll only be down the 1,000 in real cash. There's no locking out. You really gotta understand how this works if you're gonna trade. I mean, again, this is plan of action. Call them and go over it with them over the phone, you stock. There's many, 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 many days, years and years ago, when I was trading, after I'd been losing for umpteen years, okay, three years it took me to figure all this stuff out, that I needed the money that I made on the day. I would make the money, I would, I would ACH it out of my account that day. I would make it, I'd email the broker right away, pay me, pay me right away. It would be in my account, sometimes in the afternoon, sometimes in the morning. That's what I love about day trading. I have the money right away if I want it. Now, I don't need to do that anymore, but there was a time that I had lost so much money that by the time I figured out how to trade and I, I needed that money, like I needed the money to pay bills and I took it out and I could and I did, okay? So you have got to understand how this works. If you open up an account with someplace, you've got to understand how it works, all right? Now, there was a second trade here in this. Price of the entry is 81.80, okay? Beautiful entry in this as well. If you took 5,000 shares, again, you need the buying power for this, which actually this is a lot, okay? So you, this is a, you would have a nice size account 
even if you had a prop place for it to take 5,000 shares of this. Risk is the same though, 1,200. Exit at 80, it's a $1.80 move. You could have made $9,000. Now let's just look at this. If you took it here, here's the short. Beautiful entry. This is not even the low of the day. The low of the day went even way past this. It went to 78 something. But $80 was the next target. So you took the trade in here and you got the drop into 80 and you got out. Again, time of the day for the exit is around 10 o'clock. The stock ended up dropping almost another $2. But if you did this trade right in here with precision and got in it and got out of it and made $1.80, because that's what you're making. You're making $1.80. What are, you how, what are you doing here? How are you even making this money? The stock moved in momentum $1.80. You got in it and it dropped $1.80 and you shorted it. Just like if it went up and you bought it, it would have to go up $1.80 to make $1.80. This is momentum. This is, this is how you make money. You make money on the pennies or the dollars. How do you times it by the share size? How do you figure out the share size based on the amount of risk you want to take? Based on the entry, which I teach you in the class. Which you gotta know though, to watch the COF, to know that this thing is even gonna do anything that even looks like this, okay? Because you would never make money and get something to move a dollar, a dollar eighty, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, if you didn't know to watch this. It would be gone and done without you. If you waited for your scanner till after 10 o'clock Eastern time, which many day traders do, they feel like they have more confidence and conviction. If they wait till late, you miss it. You miss the whole thing, okay? So the total profits, if you took every trade, it was six trades that I just reviewed there that were all golden gaps. Now, again, this is advanced risk. This is not holding any of them to the dream targets. Almost every single one of them went to bigger numbers with the exception of Verizon. With the exception of Verizon, every one of those gaps in the exits went farther, meaning you could have held it longer and made even more money. But if you took an advanced risk and got out at the first target in every trade, the last six trades I just reviewed that happened in the last week, you could have made $32,850. That's like almost insane, but that's the power of the gap. It's the power of the information that I, Melissa Armo, have figured out about day trading to know to pinpoint what stock to watch, exactly what it's gonna do, the number to take it, the entry, the exit, and to see that it's gonna have the momentum. And you've got to get momentum in stocks or you won't make any money. It, you, you just won't. And that's why people end up taking three, four, five trades. They can't get the stocks to move. So they take the trade and make five cents and eight cents. As soon as they take it, they're up a little bit. If it starts back up against them, they kill it. They end up making not even one risk unit. They risk $1,000 and end up making 500. They risk $1,000 and make 250 because as soon as it backs up, they have to take it out. Why? Because no momentum comes in. It doesn't end up going anywhere selling off. They're uncertain of themselves. They don't have conviction that they even looked at the right thing. It doesn't fall. It doesn't drop right away. They get impatient. They're sweating the bullet. They're nervous and they're in fear about the risk and they don't know what they're doing. You can't train like that. So you've got to have a plan of action for what you are supposed to do. And then you won't be in fear about the risk that you're taking and you won't be in fear to trade. And you will trade effortlessly and simple by with having the focus to do it. So it's a simple system which can result in massive profits just with staying focused on one strategy. And this is how you make money, okay? You make money with a system, a strategy, having the focus and taking trades with size. Less is more in reference to trading per day, okay? And that's what it's about. So one strategy is all you need, okay? Which is called the golden gap. Now, can you use a system for bullish stocks? Yes. I do teach a bullish gap class. However, you can take the bearish class and flip the point. Some are not exactly the same, but most are. And this is one of the reasons I've called the market well so well to the upside. Amazon, Netflix, all the stocks that I've called higher because I do know how to read bullish gaps very well as well. But I prefer to short, as I said, because of the momentum that comes in for the timing of shorts. And here's a chart of Netflix. This was a great, <coughs> excuse me, this is a great bullish gap that happened um, not that long ago, even at Netflix. Now, of course, the price of this is, looks very different now because of what they did with the stock. This is the current chart of this, but it really ended up reaching over, uh, well, almost over 700. It didn't quite get to the dream target, which was 750 before they actually changed the stock price. But it was a beautiful bullish call that I called. And actually I had called this in the swing trade letter. Thank you, Kathy. So let's talk about longevity and consistency, consistency in trading. Trading is about consistency and longevity because you wanna do this for a long time. You don't just wanna do it for a day or a week. 
And if you want to have longevity, you need to produce consistent results. If you want to produce consistent results, you must stick to the plan and stay consistent with your trading and strategy. If you want to have consistent results, you need to have a detailed focus system like the 26 points to help you find the golden gap that will work, okay, to trade on the net. Success requires calculated risk. You just cannot be successful unless you are willing to take risk. How do you go after the cheese without dying or killing yourself in the trap every day in the market? You, you put your helmet on. You plan to get the cheese so that you don't get hurt, okay? So this is the planning stages here. You are ready to go. You are planning with the safety protection of the stock. You also are going to make the move very quickly, as you see he's positioned here, to get it out before this slams over him. And this is how you trade. Someone said, I'm like a sniper. I really am like a sniper when I trade. Just like this guy getting the cheese very quickly. And there's enough cheese to go around. And you just have to find the quality cheeses, okay? I always say this to people, how badly do you want it? You really have to want, want to make money in the market. I mean, you have to want to make it. If you want to make it, I can teach you how. My class is $3,500, okay? If you want to learn how to make money, I am teaching people, okay? It's how badly do you want it? Do you really just want to lollygag around and not take it seriously? Or do you really want to do it? And you really want to make money? And you want to get to the point where you can make $3,500 in one trade or $2,000 in two minutes or $5,000 in five minutes. It's possible, okay? It's, and, and I'm not just doing it. I mean, I'm actually teaching people that are doing this with me alongside of me now in the room that are taking the similar risk that I'm even taking now because they've been trading with me for so long. This is an example, a great example here, showing you a picture depicting here no conviction. When you trade with no conviction, it's like trading in the dark. You don't know what to do. You're in fear. You're uncertain about everything. This is how I trade. I get up in the morning. The sun is shining right in my face on the 60th floor. And I have 100% conviction in any trade that I take. And if I don't, then I don't take it. I believe that I'm going to make money when I take the trade. I never look at it like 50-50. There is no 50-50 for me or I don't press the button. And if I think that way, then I don't press the button. So guess what? I'm successful a lot. Okay. Very, very often. It's about the power of conviction. The difference between trading with conviction and without conviction is night and day. It's just completely night and day. There is nothing like trading with conviction. There's no comparison. And you cannot live a successful trading life without it. So you've got to have it. And how do you do that? Being focused, keeping it simple, common sense, having a discipline, having a system to follow. If you do not have conviction in your strategy, you've, just, you've got to learn one that teaches you it and something that works. So the 26-point checklist is what teaches you what stocks to trade to be successful every day. And the class that I teach is called the Golden Gap Course. It is a professional bearish gap system. The class is this weekend, August 1st and 2nd, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $34.99. If you're interested, you can email me at melissathestockswoosh.com. Kathy has my information there. The sign-up materials have to be emailed to you. You can email me if you want to sign up and register. Space is limited. I already have people registered. If you want to sign up, email me. I also teach another class called the Trends Course. This is this week too. It's July 29th and 30th from 12 to 4 Eastern Time. This is how to read trends in long-term charts. Okay, this is really for people that are doing options or swing trades overnight. This is $9.99. If you're interested in this class, email me at melissathestockswish.com. And I'm doing a special. If you want to do the Trends class this week and the Golden Gap course, you can do both classes for $39.99 and then I'm offering the Wealth Manifestation class free. So it's actually saving of almost $900. So you get three classes for one price and you do them all this week, okay? So email me if you're interested in signing up at melissa at the stockswish.com. As I said, I do have a live trading room. It is open to join only for people that have done the Golden Gap course. I do call my trades out live, tell you where to take the entry and where to put the stop. Okay, so you can do it live with me every single day. I trade only my system. I trade only gaps. I look at maybe one to three symbols a day. One is my main one. I have a top watch every day. I may call four trades, but I usually do one a day. Okay, there's a lot of focus. Losses are kept to a minimum. There's, it would be like you would have to be almost like a crazy person to actually lose money with me if you were even with me for a week. 
<laughs> because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even call that many trades that lose. I don't even call that many trades. I mean, some trading rooms call like one guy told me it was another room. They, uh, they called 65 trades a day, 65 trades a day. Now they were open to four o'clock, but I don't even call that many trades. Okay. You, it would be impossible to even lose with me. So this is why, again, people are making money with me. Besides the fact I'm very, very focused on what I do, which is how you make money. The hours of the room are 8.30 to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. The class is online, E-Stop. It is an online course. You can be anywhere in the world and take the class. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time this Saturday and Sunday. And it's a good time to trade because it's earnings season. Even though it's summer, it's third quarter earnings season in the market. There's tons of gaps every day. Now, stocks gaps for many, many reasons. Some stocks gap for downgrades and upgrades and news or CEO quitting or an earnings report or a sector gap or with the market. But it is earnings season right now in summer, so there is actually quite a few things to look at every day to trade. And so you could actually do more than one if you really, really want to. And every once in a while, I call more than one at the same time. But for me personally, I like to do one a day because that's really all that I need to do. And of course, obviously, I am taking size and a lot of risk and I have to focus. If I have, you know, 5,000, 6,000 position size and something, I got to pay attention to what I'm doing. Does anyone have any questions about anything at all? Anything at all? We have a few more minutes here. Good questions from eStock. Please call your broker to get the full explanation of those things. You like what I do in my style? Thanks for my patience. You're welcome. I can't believe you just said it was patient. <laughs> I think you're the first person on the planet that ever said that. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to have to tell my mom that one. <laughs> I, I, am I patient tonight? I'll have to tell the room that tomorrow. <laughs> maybe I'm maybe I'm growing. Uh, maybe I'm maturing. <laughs> Anything is possible. You're welcome. The, well, if you'd like more information, you can email me at Melissa at the stockswoosh.com. Thanks everyone for coming. Go to my YouTube page and subscribe there at the stockswoosh. You can get market updates I do. I know the market gap down today and I know it fell, but the market is still going to make a new high. The market's still very, very bullish. Okay. All right, everybody. Have a great night. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks for watching.